This is Trailers from Hell, and I'm Rick Baker, and I'm going to talk to you today about Fiend Without a Face. It's a movie I really like, even though the movie isn't really very good, uh, until you get to the end where you see the fiends. And the fiends are these really interesting-looking uh, designs. I'm not really sure who came up with them, but what they are is like, oh, God, help me. It's, it's killing me. Okay, I, I'm sorry about that. I just couldn't help myself. I had the fiend without a face there. Uh, anyways, this this film, like I said, it, it's pretty boring for the first two-thirds of it. Right at the end, when you actually finally see the fiends when they become visible, uh, it's pretty cool. They're, it's a cool design. It's just kind of a brain with a spinal column and a couple little tendril tentacle things with with antennas. And, and these were done by a couple German guys named Rupel and Nordoff or something like that. And, and they were uh, done with stop motion animation. And there's some really great stuff. Some of my favorite stuff is when they actually shoot them and and they sputter out this goo and they go. And, uh, and uh, you can see this. I don't think this guy was as good as I was there when when he just died by that fiend. He just didn't didn't have the uh, acting chops that I have. That was a good shot. There's a girl coming out of the shower here. And I like this scientist. I thought he was good. I thought he was a really cool scientist type character. But. Uh, okay, there's a story that, that uh, I read of, uh, that Marshall Thompson tells that uh, Arthur Crabtree, who was hired to direct this movie on the first day when he shows up on the set and looks at the script, uh, said, this is not the script that I was signed on to do. I don't do monster movies and walked off the set. And apparently Marshall Thompson took it upon himself to direct the first few days until uh, Arthur Crabtree decided that he does do monster movies and needed the job and came back and, and continued doing the movie. The funny thing was, after this, he went on to do other monster movies. I don't remember what they were, but uh, uh, <laughs> Fiend Without a Face, worth, worth watching for the cool Fiends Without a Face.